Hey guys, welcome to the character creation series. In this segment, I'll be explaining how to polypaint and export your character from ZBrush. When polypainting skin, I start with a deep red color to simulate the insides of the mesh. I paint the skin in layers to create depth. Skin has a lot of depth to it. Underneath the surface, you can see different shades of blue, purple, and red. To add variation to the skin, I use an alpha map and use a drag rectangle tool to break up the surface of the skin. I also use various spray brushes just to add a little different color to the skin. Always keep the RGB intensity low to build layers on the skin. You're going to want to gradually build up the color. As you can see right here, using an alpha map and a drag rectangle can really start to fill in the color of the skin. Even though we're painting with white, you can still see the other colors underneath the surface of the skin. In this phase, I sculpt the pores with color by adding an alpha map to the standard brush and cutting into the model. Don't forget to add veins to the model. You can paint lightly over them with the skin colors to make them look like they're underneath the surface of the skin. Right here I'm adding poly paint to the clothing. This method of just gradually adding color works for just about any object. Don't forget you can also use the smooth brush on poly paint. Once again for the horns, I'm just starting with a base color and just adding in different layers of color. I'm also doing a little bit of sculpting for the cracks and crevices so they're slightly different color. Masking out sections of a model is a great way to get precise with your poly painting. As you can see, the paint doesn't go anywhere that is sectioned off. Right here, I'm just adding a little bit of the skin color over top of the paint so it looks like it's slightly worn off. Alright, now we're going to run through UV unwrapping. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your subdivision levels down to about 2. Go to the top, click Z plugin. Click on the UV master plugin and click work on clone. Alright, right here we have a clone. So what we're going to want to do is mask off the feet and the hands and the head. Turn on the poly frame so you can see the polys. Next go to poly groups and select group masked. Alright, right here you can see our poly groups. 
Now we're going to go back to the UV Master plugin and enable control painting. Go to density. When you select times 4, that means that whatever is painted with times 4 will take up 4 times the amount of space on the UV map. So as you can see, I clicked times 4. In areas like the face, I want to take up more space on the UV map. So I'm going to paint them. Areas like the abs, anywhere high detail really, the hands. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to uncheck symmetry, we're going to check polygroups, unwrap. Let's check it out. Flatten. And this is the UV map it generated for us. So we're going to unflatten it. And we're going to put this on the other model by copying the UVs. Load back the other model. Paste those UV maps right here. The next thing we're going to do is export this low poly model because this is the one with the UV maps. And that's the model that you're going to want to import back to Blender. Right here you're going to change the UV map size to 4096. That way your textures will be 4096 by 4096. First we're going to lower the geometry down to level 1 and we're going to create the displacement map. Click create displacement map. Alright so that's made. We're going to click clone displacement map see it's moved over here to the alpha palette we're gonna click make texture then we're gonna go over to texture palette and it's right here now we're gonna flip it because when a model is exported the UVs get flipped so flip it vertically then you just click export change it to a JPEG because it's gonna take up less RAM later Next, we're going to create the normal map. Make sure you uncheck smooth UV. Alright, now we have the normal map. I'm going to clone it. It's going to go to the texture palette. You flip that. You export it just like the displacement map. And finally, for the texture map, we're going to turn it poly count all the way up. So now we're back up to vision level 7 and then you click on texture map and you want to click create and new from poly paint and there we go I'm gonna clone it and of course it's gonna put it right here you just flip it and then export it Alright, that's about it for this video. In the next section, I'll discuss rigging.